Hi there, this is Cool Dude Clem, and I don't think you can call me Scruffy with this hairdo. I'm happy to say that I've finished doing the first episode of my new animated show, along with the previews of the next few episodes to come. So, grab a bag of popcorn, go to the toilet, or whatever else you have to do, because this is going to be one long video. Well, probably about 30 minutes anyway. Before we start though, there's just one little thing I want to go over, and that is that I don't currently have voice actors for most of the characters. I mean, there are some characters in there that I'm going to voice myself, but even the main character, I don't have a voice actor for. So, I've just had to use my own voice and a few text-to-speech voices as, you know, like, placeholders until I can find some better voice actors for them. So also, I haven't done the mouth animations because, well, since I don't have voice actors for those characters yet, you know, animating those mouths to my own voice and then having to reanimate the mouse to the new voice actors. Well, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. It'd be much better to do the mouth animations when I have the new voice actors. Of course, the characters that I'm going to voice do have the mouth animations, but there are a couple of scenes where I did animate the main character to my own voice, just to see how that would look. But, you know, when I get the new voice actors... If anyone's interested, of course, I'm going to redo that, and I'm going to add all the mouth animations. That's pretty easy. Anyway, let's have a look at the first episode. The editing's a little bit wonky at the moment, and there's a few sound effects missing. That's all going to be cleaned up later on. But anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at the first episode. This is the story of a boy with a very unusual name who is about to live a very unusual life. The boy lived on this planet and his name was Moonfish. Moonfish was an orphan. He did not know who his parents were or whatever happened to them. And although the orphanage where he lived was more like a luxury hotel, the other kids there were horrible. They would tease him about his name the way that he spoke, and his obsession with space and nature. He didn't even have a single friend. Not much of a life, was it? Little did he know, however, that one day his life would change for the better. And this is where our story begins. One warm spring evening, while he was walking through the forest. What? No, please. Please don't kill me. Whoa, easy there, little guy. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not? But you chased me. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I guess I wasn't thinking. I didn't mean to freak you out. It's just... Well, I've seen all kinds of stuff in this forest, but... I've never seen anything like you before. All I wanted was a closer look. So you're not going to hurt me or turn me in? No way. Why would I do that? I guess you've never heard of the infamous TD before. Everybody thinks I'm evil and stuff. Well, no. It's kind of far out, but I don't even know who I am myself. All I can remember is waking up in this forest one day and my mind was like, gone. I forgot everything except my name. I guess your name's TD, right? Yep, that's me. So what's your name? Um, Moonfish. <laughs> what? Really? I know. I hate it. So what was that you were saying earlier about people thinking you're evil and stuff? You don't look evil. You're actually kind of cute. 
That's because I'm not evil. But my creator certainly was. I was created by this mad scientist. He created me to be his lab assistant. But something went wrong and instead of being evil, I was good. And I didn't want to do any of that stuff. And when I kept refusing to help, he threw me out. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Yeah, but that must have really sucked. He sounds like a real jerk. He is. But the thing is, because he made me, everybody thinks I'm some kind of demonic entity that's gonna rip out your soul while you sleep. Really? No, I'm not. Like I said, I hate wickedness. But no one believes me. They all chase me and try to kill me. So I thought I'd hide here where I thought nobody would find me. And then you came along. Well, it's okay. I'm not gonna rat you out. Because, you know what? I believe you. About what you're saying, about not being evil and stuff. I don't know how, but it's like this sixth sense I have or something. I always know if someone's lying. You know, you're the nicest human I've ever met. Well, actually, you're the only nice human I've ever met. Yeah, we're not all bad. So this is what friendship is like? I've never had a friend before. Same here, man. You mean, you never had a friend either? No, nope. everyone just thinks I'm weird. But you're not weird. You're nice. I know, but try telling them that. You know what is weird? I come here a lot, you know? I just find nature so peaceful and stuff. It really helps to clear my mind. But I've never seen you around here before. Yeah, I try to keep hidden. Wish I didn't have to live out here though. At least back at the lab I had a roof over my head. I've seen you come through here a few times though. Hey, I know. You could come and live with me in my room the orphanage. I'd take good care of you, and you'd be nice and warm and dry, and you'd have a home. But I can't go there. There's other people there. So? So they'd see me. I'll find a way to sneak you in. No one will ever know you're there. It's got to be better than living out here. Come on, what do you say? Okay, but how are we going to get in? Hmm... Think this looks too obvious? Yep. I got it! How about we... Okay. You cool with that? So just wait here and I'll be right back. Hey look! The stupid hippie's back! Yeah, back from fishing on the moon, right? Hey, man! Like, what's with the backpack, man? Um, I'm just going somewhere to, like, um, read. TD, I'm back. Yo, TD, you here, man? Oh, there you are. What you doing up there? Just hanging. Thought I'd better hide up here in case someone else came along. But how did you? Uh, never mind. I got the backpack now, so you can hide in it while I take you home. You know, like we said we would. Okay then. You okay? Yeah, I'm a robot, remember? I can't get hurt. Did you nerd up enough? No! 
nerd? Yeah, stupid nerd. Stupid hippie nerd. Hey, call it, man. You wanna get us in trouble? He's talking to his backpack now. Yeah, what a freak. Okay, like, all clear. Well, here we are. This is my pad. Pretty groovy, huh? Oh, wow, you play guitar? Yeah, I'm gonna be a superstar one day. Gotta say I can shred real good. They kinda get a bit mad if I play it in here. So whenever I wanna practice, I have to go out into the forest. Go on, play something. Maybe if I play something quiet, they won't mind. Hey! Stop that noise! What did we tell you about that? You see... Oh, I didn't know you could float. That's pretty cool. It's one of the features my creator installed into me. Works really well for hiding up in the trees too. Hey, like, could you like, go up into space like that? I don't know, I never tried. Man, I'd love to go up into space. It's like, whenever I look up at the night sky, it's like, I get this feeling like, that's where I belong, you know? Like it's calling out to me. So I've decided, I'm going to be an astronaut when I grow up. But I thought you wanted to be a rock star. Well, yeah, there's that too. But you know what's really weird? I kind of feel like I actually used to be up there, man. You know, up there in space. I mean, like, living up there. Weird, huh? Maybe you were born to be an astronaut or something. I don't know, man. Like, nobody really knows. I guess all we can do is just, like, wait and see what happens. So, did you enjoy that? If so, that's great, because I really want to make more. And we still haven't seen the previews yet. So, let's take a look. Don't know why I just did my crazy taxi voice. Oh man, oh man, what are we going to do? They totally know you're here. I told you everybody is afraid of me. Okay. Um, okay, I got an idea. You hide under the bed, and if anyone comes in, I'll try to hold them off. Okay? Are you in there? Open up. You're in serious danger. The TD is in your room. Um, no. Everything's cool in here. We know it's there with you. I heard you talking. Um, no, it's just me by myself. Like, um, just talking to myself. Hey man, you can't just bust in here like this. Look, you don't understand. TD will hurt you. We're only trying to help you. No, you don't understand, man. He's just like, misunderstood. He's not evil. Besides, Titi's not here, man. Hey, I think there's something under the bed. No, like, nothing to see here. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, man, let him go.
No, oh, this is the end, man. What gaming is? You think I don't know that? Only a miracle is gonna save us now. Hey there, need a lift? Trust me, I can save you. Oh well, what have we got to lose? We couldn't be in any more trouble anyway. Wow, thanks for saving our butts back there. I thought we were goners for sure. Are you an angel? No, not really, dude. My name's Moby. I'm a star kid. I kind of look after the galaxy and stuff. Oh, wow, you mean like going on space adventures and fighting off bad guys with laser guns and pew pew pew? Um, actually, it's more sort of like housekeeping. Oh. Never mind. Come on, you guys! This isn't funny anymore! Let me go! What's that you say? You want us to keep doing this? Very well, then. Wait, um... Okay, this is funny. Keep bullying me. Oh, now you want to be bullied? Very well, then, punch bad. No, I was trying to make you let me go, because you do the opposite of what I say. Just stop it. No way. It's time for your punishment. But I done nothing wrong. Yes, you have, Fox Boy. You're weird. And you're nice. We don't take kindly to weird around here. Yeah, and we especially don't take kindly to nice. Hey, what's that behind you? Oh no, we're not falling for that. We may be dumb, but we're not that dumb. Yeah, we're not that dumb. Hey, leave him alone. Uh oh, company. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you better run. Hey, kid. You okay? Man, I feel so sorry for you. With, like, no home or friends or family to look out for you and stuff. I know what that's like. I've been through it myself, man. You know what? I'll be your friend. If you want. And I'm sure my other two friends will like you. Your... other two friends? Yeah, they're kind of weird. But they're really nice. Um, I hate to break up this mushy scene, but I had to go. Oh, uh, okay, we won't look. I don't mean that. I have to get back to my space station. But the wormhole between here and there is about to close. Oh, right. Can I come to... Um kinda homeless now. Okay, but hurry up. There's not much time. What about him? Can he come with us? Um, why? Come on, he's all on his own and he's like got nowhere to go. Can we keep him? Please? Please, 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 please. Come on then. Wow, thank you. I just hope we can make it to the wormhole before it's too late. Is that it? Oh no, it's worse than I thought. I... I don't think we're gonna make it. We'll make it. Ain't gonna. We are.
We ain't. Or ain't. Told you we ain't gonna make it. So, what are your names anyway? Well, I'm Red. Yes, I can see that you are Red. No, I didn't mean I'm Red. Well, I guess I am Red, but I mean, I'm Red. Yes, I know. I can still see that. No, I mean I'm Red. This could go on for some time, so we're just gonna skip to the next part. They just call me TD. And I'm, um... Moonfish. Wait, what did you say your name was? Moonfish? No way. That's my brother's name. Wow, small universe. No way. I, I can't believe it. What, this? Hey, that was cool. Do it again. Oh wow, do you know what this means? I got my own built-in flashlight? No, silly. You're my long-lost brother. You're a star kid too. Oh man, this is too much. First I find out I'm not human, and then I find out you're my sister. I was even thinking of asking you out. Almost there, man. I'd better, like, lower the magnetic landing pads. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Not good, not good. What's happening? We're crashing, that's what's happening. That other ship was, like, have its own gravity, and lowering the magnetic landing pads is, like, Pulling us in even more! Well, do something! I can't! It's jammed! It won't respond! Hold on, man! Here we go! Like... Ow! Hi, Clem! Thought I'd find you up here. Oh, Jane, hi. What do you mean you thought you'd find me up here? Well, just lately, this is where you've always been. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit homesick, I guess. It's just... Well, look out there, Jane, and tell me what you see. Space? Yes, Jane, that's just it. Space. Nothing but space. No alien wars going on. No stuff being sucked into a black hole. No supernovas exploding. Nothing. And definitely no sign of the new planet we're going to live on. Wish I'd never come on this stupid trip. But we had to go, Clem. You know what it was like back on Earth. We'd probably be dead if we'd stayed. Well, I'd be a lot happier. Come on, Clem. This isn't the Clem I know. The Clem I know wouldn't be all whiny like this. Whatever happened to that, Clem? Well, I guess he got to stay behind. I know. Why don't you come to the arcade with me and the others? You know, take your mind off things? Nah. I think I'll just stay up here, looking out into space, like I always do. Well, okay, well, you know where I'll be if you need me. There's something out there, look! I don't see anything. Ah, never mind. Okay, well I'm going now. Okay. Jane is back! You saw her at that time, right? Uh... No? 
Jane, I'm telling you, there was someone out there. Oh, you mean like someone in a space suit? No, he didn't have a space suit on. He looked more like, well, an alien. Oh, I get it. You're seeing little green men now. Jane, I'm serious. There was an alien out there and he waved to me. And he wasn't green, he was blue. Yeah, whatever. You sure you don't want to come? Nah. Actually, I, I think I will come. Well, there we go. I really hope you enjoyed that. Now, the reason I'm uploading these videos as they are is because if any of you are interested in voicing any characters, you know, I want you to know what the characters are like. You know, this way you'll get to know their personalities and get a better idea of what the characters are like. So anyway, if you are interested in voicing any of the characters, I've got them all up on this website here. Obviously, the characters that I'm going to voice myself I haven't put on there because, well, there's no need to, but, you know, you can have a look through, see if anything interests you, and if you're interested, you can try out whichever character or characters you want to voice. There are a couple of rules, though. First, you must have a good microphone. I don't mean one that, like, costs a thousand dollars and is some kind of studio professional microphone or anything like that. No, just a microphone that sounds good, but preferably something that isn't a headset microphone, because I really just don't like the way those sound. If you've got a little bit of background noise in your recording, that's okay. If it's not too bad, I can usually fix that my end, but I would need a little bit of just the background noise as well, say like five seconds of it, so I can do the noise removal. I mean, it's pretty noisy in this room right now. I mean, I'm going to turn off the noise removal that I'm using right now, so you can hear just how noisy this room is. So you can hear that's pretty noisy, but when I turn the noise reduction on, that all goes, so it's nice and quiet. Secondly, no voice changes. I had this issue before with someone who auditioned for one of my other cartoons, and all his lines were done through a voice changer. And it just doesn't sound natural, you know? It's got to be a voice that you can do yourself without having to change it in any way. Now, I know when I did the voice of TD, I used a voice changer, but in that case, it's okay because, you know, he's not an organic character. He's like some kind of robotic plush toy, so, you know, he's going to have a weird voice. But for organic characters, yeah, it's it's got to be something you can do yourself without having to process it. And third rule, have fun! If you don't enjoy voicing the character, then that's obviously not for you. But if you do enjoy voicing the character, there you go. Anyway, my voice is giving out now, so I'm going to have to wrap up. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope some of you audition. Hope it goes well. And until next time, goodbye.